Girl, are we coming to an end of an era? Are, are, is, is Love and Marriage Huntsville in their flop era? Yes or no? Y'all let me know. <laughs> because I this episode was was not good. It was not good. I don't I can't remember hardly any parts that made me say, ooh, child. Like, and maybe maybe you may you know the Sonny Moses Destiny part. Yeah, I was tuned in for that. But the rest of the stuff, I was just like. Girl, can we get, come on now? Come on, come on here. Hurry up now. What, what, what y'all trying to say? Like, I don't, eh, I don't know. Y'all get down in the comments. I always welcome to hear what y'all have to say about this episode, but I don't really feel like it was given like it was supposed to have gave, you know? Anyway, hey y'all, it's still one of my favorite shows. I know it's a mess. I know it's trash, but I'm, I still love this show, but I do feel like it might be coming into a slop era but anyway again hey y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Belle and this is the Belle Perspective and we're here to talk about Love and Marriage Huntsville this is season eight episode five waiting to ex-wife if you're new to my channel I talk about reality tv books all kinds of things on this channel go ahead and subscribe okay get down in the comments let me know what you think and love chatting with y'all it's always fun so I'm not gonna go in any particular order but I, I do want to start off with where we left off from last episode with Sonny and not Sonny but Moses and Destiny quiet as it's kept Moses has a type now I ain't gonna hold you Destiny is definitely a few steps better looking than Sonny not trying to Take away from any woman's beauty, but girl, Sunny girl, you okay? We we gonna get into that too, child. Anyway, so Moses and Destiny, Destiny is like low key getting him together. She low key eating him up. Read, honey, not read. <laughs> and you know, you came to see me. We were together for eight eight months, and I was coming to fly you fly in and see you every other weekend. He told me you wasn't really coming to see me like that. His story really wasn't holding up in court. I ain't gonna hold you. Like his story really wasn't making any type of sense. But also, this is Moses who clearly had a harem going on prior, right? And probably quiet as it's kept, still got one. And high key, high key, okay. The man was still checking out Destiny when she walked in. I know he was. And quiet as it's kept, let's be for real. If Destiny was with the shits, okay? If Destiny was with the shits, Moses would be down with it too, okay? Let's be for real, okay? <laughs> I said, oh, girl, Destiny, let me tell you something. If you flash a little anything for him, he would jump on it, girl. And Moses ain't, mm-mm. Anyway, so he they basically going back and forth. And the gist of what I took was Destiny ended the relationship. Now, I needed to know. She said he wasn't stepping up to be a man. And y'all know what that means when a girl say you're not stepping up to be a man. You basically wasn't paying my bills. And she said that. She was like, I was coming in every other weekend. You trying to tell me that I'm not spending time with you, but I got to work because you're not stepping up to be a man. You're not being a man I need you to be. So Destiny was one the one that ended the relationship. So what I gathered from that, is that Moses would not have ended the relationship with Destiny had Destiny not broken up with him. He probably would have still kept things going. Now, I really, if we're going to be messy, we here, we talking about it, we might as well go ahead and do a deep dive. I need to see the text messages. I want to I wanna know what was going on prior to the breakup, during the breakup, and after. Because, again, it was Destiny that was the one that led the charge of breaking them up. Because quiet as it's kept, he wasn't going to do it, okay? That's what it sounds like. Destiny says that Moses love-bombed her, which is, sounds similar to what he was doing right now with Sonny. Love-bombed her, named his business after um, uh, the child that they were supposed to have, because apparently Destiny said Moses was trying to get her pregnant from the from the first time, you know, as soon as they started dating. Which again, here he go. Moses is saying that Sonny could be pregnant any day now. Girl, it's given I'm trying to trap you. It's given I'm trying to trap you. And don't and don't think these men don't be doing that. Don't think men don't be trapping women too now. Anyway, so it's given very similar profiles. He thought he trying to find whoever will be the weakest link. Maybe he get into that age. I'm telling you, y'all, these men be getting to a certain age and they feel like, oh, let me hurry up and get married so I can have somebody to pass me my Lipitor in the morning, girl, my high blood pressure medicine in the morning, okay, so I can have somebody to take care of me, but I'll still be a dog ass nigga in these streets, okay, so that's what it was given, that's what it's given, but, um, you know, <laughs> good luck with that, sunny girl, you, you, girl, you got him, girl, <laughs> you got him, girl, so Destiny was like, listen, you know, I broke up with you. I'm glad I did. You're dismissed. You wanted to, you, you wanted to be my girlfriend. Now that's how you clear a bitch. Let me tell you, Destiny was high key getting Moses together. She really was. And I was here for it. And then, and then Moses got up. He was like, you know what? I'm going to go on the deuces. And she was like, bye. See ya. All right. 
Baby, when, when she said, ooh, that's good. She took a drink of her little margarita. She was like, ooh, that's good. I was like, that is some shit I would do. High key. Be in a whole heated discussion. Cuss the people like left and right. And as soon as I take a bite of my food, ooh, child, it's good. Ooh, y'all tried this? I'm talking to the nigga I done just cussed out. Ooh, you tried this? good. I ain't no child. Anyway, <laughs> no sense or nothing. Just forgot the whole conversation, baby. I'm zero focused into whatever I'm eating or drinking, child. I'm with you, girl. Now, that's me. That's me. Anyway, I, I just, I, I want better for Destiny. I really do. I actually like Destiny. I don't feel like she's done anything wrong and quiet as it's kept. The way that Mel wants blind loyalty. And and she basically says this in the in this in this episode. She wants you to pick a side, which makes sense, right? With dealing with what we're dealing with. I think that um if if a, a side had to be chosen, I do believe that Destiny would have chosen Mel, but things Mel threw her to the side. You know, we are we're not gonna rehash things, but I do believe that had she had picked a side, Mel like outright blatantly said pick a side i do believe destiny would have picked male side and that's just and that's just that on that speaking of male we see male having this pajama party you know male love having a little fake phony scene this is what i'm talking about when i say disingenuous it's very fake and phony giving very much infomercial so she got it set up with all these girls having these pink um pajamas on it was real cute i ain't gonna hold you I love Mel's hair. When she has a short hair, it's really cute on her. So she got her makeup artist and her friend Brittany, who appeared in episodes before. And she has another person named Dr. Shanita who had a whole lot to say. When I tell you Dr. Shanita was holding that whole scene, I'm like, girl, be quiet. Can anybody else talk? You know, maybe maybe the other girls were talking and they just cut out those other girls talking. And I don't I didn't see who the other person was. So you know, Mel's gonna have her a little bougie something, child. I ain't gonna hold you. That's my personality as well. If we're gonna do something, it's gonna be upscale. It's gonna be elevated. It's going to be, it's going to give zhuzh, okay? It really is. That's just my, that's my personality. So I get that, okay? So Mel invites them over. They have like this cute little pamper party. Again, very much infomercial. She trying to sell her little skincare stuff, child. I said, now girl, we on TV. They got all these lashes to high heaven, girl. Lashes on, cake, cake, caked up foundation, girl where is they going what what are they washing off girl what skincare are they actually going to use caked up with makeup like this i say okay girl girl just say this is the info commercial anyway the conversation talks about dating and all the men that i guess dr shanita has tried to introduce Mel to and she was like girl you didn't like him because he had pant these old pants and you didn't like him because he had a missing side tooth girl dental dental hygiene is very important okay I, when I tell you dental dental hygiene for me is so important, I need you to have a full <laughs> full mouth of teeth, okay? And I don't want you to have forty two when you only supposed to have thirty two, okay? And I don't need you have no no more no less than thirty two. I I don't need them to be the color of of, of a white sheet, but they do need to be somewhere around <laughs> somewhere around there, okay? Give give ivory a little bit of something, you know what I mean? An opal something. I need white okay and they got to be straight they can't be all on top of each other and talk in the back and in the front and on to the side not not all that i don't need them <laughs> congregating i just need the teeth to be in it in its individual place i'm sorry i went off on a tangent but i'm feeling male and my biggest takeaway with this is that one this scene was fake and phony as hell <laughs> two that's what i be talking about with male three don't be trying to tell her that she needs to lower her standards just to have a man girl if you got to lower anything your, if you have to lower your expectations just to have something, then girl, maybe it don't, maybe it ain't, it ain't meant to be had. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, why and why are we always telling women that you need to quote unquote lower your stand? Uh, girl, why 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 are we why do we need to do that? Because y'all not telling the men that y'all are not telling the men that at all. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. What else is going on? The other thing I wanted to add about this whole male scene with these girls was so dr shanita or whatever her name is she asked mel do you feel like there are people that are you know around you that are keeping you from actually healing and this is where i felt like we might got to get rid of love and marriage huntsville because how is mel actually truly healing when she got to still be around people who are still dealing with martel and also by proxy, she still got to deal with Martell. So I'm just thinking about her mental health from that, you know, from that perspective. It just can't really be a good, it's, that's not really a good situation to be in. But 
she goes into the conversation about how she feels like she can't really date because Martell be rolling up. So I think what she's saying is she can't really bring a new guy on the show because Martell will then stalk her like he did and record her and everything. Honestly, I personally, personally feel, and I know some of y'all are going to disagree, but I don't, I feel like Martell did what he did in terms of rolling up on her, recording her, confronting her. I feel like he did that so it would detour her from dating. It did exactly what he wanted it to do. So I think that she needs to do the opposite. Now, definitely warn the men that she's with and get you a tough one, okay? Because I feel like Martell is a coward when it comes to other men. I don't feel like he'll have that same bravado when he's dealing with another grown-ass man, okay? I do feel like he can try to terrorize Mel because it's Mel, and he's been doing it for 11 years. I have a long day was married. But I feel like if a, a man with bravado approached him and was like, nigga, back up, I feel like he would back off because he's not, he doesn't have that. He 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 is a coward to me in real life, okay? So I, I, I feel like it's time for Mel to stop letting Martell dictate her life, especially on this show. Like, girl, if you're going to continue to be on this show, right, you know, despite Martell being a part of it, which I don't feel like is a good thing for, for your mental health, I do think it's quite time for you to have a new guy on the show. I really do. I really think it's, it's time for us to see you dating because... Do not let this man deter you from moving on with your life. Because he going to get along. Baby, he done had three or four girlfriends while y'all was married. But also after y'all got divorced as well. So we want to see you move on too, right? That's my biggest thing. I think the only way that we can actually move on for, if we're going to keep this show going, Mel need to start dating. We don't, I don't want to have no more huddles about her talking to her quote unquote friends, these women that we ain't never even seen before, which also girl, you keep bringing all these new friends on the show and you end up falling out with them a year later. Girl. I, anyway, that's a whole nother thing, but you keep introducing friends. I don't want to see no more infomercials. I don't want to see no more. You bringing your friends around talking about frivolous stuff, still talking about your marriage and divorce and all this. Stuff. Martell cannot be your storyline for the rest of the season, girl. You need to be bringing somebody on so we can see your life. Like, I don't want to, if we're going to continue this going, I don't want to sit around and hear Martell being, how you dealing with Martell? I don't want to care about, I don't want to care about that no more. I don't want to deal with that. Move, let's move along. I was so busy with this saying, girl, what the hell Mel got on in this confessional little girl? It is not cute. It's not cute at all. I don't know what, who told her this was it, but no, girl, it's not, it's not, cute. it's not cute at all. And what else is going on? Trisha and Ken and child Tisha and Trisha. And ugh. first of all, so Stormy meets with Trisha and then has Martell over. I was side eyeing the shit out of Stormy. I was like, Stormy, I don't know who the hell, maybe it was production. I'm pretty sure it's production. First of all, what the hell was them damn roses on the floor for? Girl, what kind of shit is this, girl? I don't know what's going on. Stormy says she is planning a Lovers and Friends Gala. I think it's also an infomercial. Info, info, can I get it out? It's also an infomercial for her body glaze, which quite as a skeptic, I, I do want to try it. Anyway, so she's inviting Martell and Trisha over. And it was this awkward ass scene. First of all, Trisha, can you please open your mouth? I... I have said this about three times. I cannot stand people who cannot open their mouth. Open your mouth. I don't understand what you're saying. It's hard to follow. She don't ever finish a sentence. Can she finish a sentence? Start one, finish one, do something. Girl, please. Okay. Anyway, so it's hard to hear what she's talking about. Martel rolled up in there acting like he don't know her, but it's awkward as hell. And you can tell this motherfucker lying. And she's sitting up there grinning and skinning and 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 smizing through her damn ventriloquist teeth. Shout out to Miss AKA. Uh, girl, open your girl, what is going on here, girl? I was just looking like child, I don't know what the hell y'all got going on, but spit that shit out because I'm sick of this. Wrap this up quick. Okay. Wrap it up, boo. I don't know what the hell y'all got going on, but hurry it, hurry this up. All right. Anyway, Stormy inviting Martell to show off his body. I'm looking at Stormy like, girl, I don't know why the hell you would want Martell ass anywhere around you. But okay, again, this may be production, but I wouldn't want to be friendly with no motherfucker like him. Girl, get your ass out of here. I don't want to do nothing with you. I don't want to see you. Get your ass away from me. That's my problem with these people. Y'all is not icing out Martell like y'all need to. But anyway, so 
Um, Martell leaves. He finally admits that he does know Trisha, and it was still awkward as fuck. I don't know. They probably had sex or something. That's what it's given, and they're trying to make it seem like they didn't. I don't know what the hell going on. Now, so I'm I'm still confused, just a little bit, just a little bit confused. How does how does Ken know? about trisha and martell so this is what i don't know because you know produ- production like to play with us they'll try to make it seem like trisha was one of the women that martell was fooling around with that's what they're trying to imply but if ken knows that trisha knows martell then maybe maybe it's not like that i don't know what's going on but i want to know if trisha did fool with martell does ken know and has she told ken in what capacity has she told Ken? Because I'm not, again, you know how production like to play, play with a play in our face like that. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. What does this man know? Okay, and what does he not know? Anyway, Martell leave. Stormy is trying to get the business. Trisha still not giving her no information. Girl, bye. It's, I don't give a fuck. This was such a boring ass scene. So just, girl, please. Anyway. Also, Trisha meets up with Tisha to start training her, and that conversation. Why the hell are we talking? They asking about who knows what, and you'll get along with X, Y, Z, and da 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 da. Trisha tells Tisha that she's cool, cool with Stormy. Trisha then Tisha says, "Oh, well, I need to get me a new trainer." Tisha, girl, that's not. This don't got to be nothing about nothing, girl. Please, it's not even that serious. They laugh it off or whatever. I still struggle to understand what Trisha, Trisha is saying. Huh. Anyway, all in all, they end up being all right, but then shading the shit out of Miss Nell because apparently Trisha's related to Miss Nell in some sort of way. Tell me, she, she an older generation. I said y'all gonna get up off Miss Nell, child, and baby. She now she may be the older generation, but she still look the fuck good, y'all. We're not finna. We we're, we're not gonna try Miss Nell like that. Y'all be trying her. Anyway, I don't like the way they try her. I said, Tisha, you're gonna be at that age at some point too, girl. You might wanna you might wanna pipe down. But anyway, um, and then Trisha meets with Ken at the end of the episode, and we get into why is she still married to this oh, her this man that she was with, and why hasn't she signed divorce papers or even presented divorce papers to him? And Ken is concerned, like, listen, I'm trying to do everything I can. You know, I'm only one man, basically, tank, okay. Well, are you scared? Are you are I, I'm giving this my all? Are you gonna wake up one day and be like, you don't want to be in it, girl? When I tell you, Trisha is a mess. She is a mess. I something about her. I, mm, mm. <laughs> She's a mess. Okay, she is a mess. She has not gone to therapy. She needs to talk to somebody. She need to figure out what the hell she gonna do. Okay. Anyway, I I would get tired of her. I'm tired of her already. <laughs> I really am. Poor Ken. Now, I don't think he's innocent either. Quiet as a skeptic. I got my good eye on him too. But also, Trisha, girl, you wasting everybody's time. Okay? Do you want to marry this man or not? Okay? The last part, girl, Sonny and Moses, girl. Let's get into it, girl. Let's get into it. Now, this is the only part where I had perked up. But I was like, okay, now what's going on here? So Moses walk his ass up. Now, we ain't gonna, I ain't going to hold you. Okay? Moses may be an ain't shit ass nigga. But girl, the man is handsome. Okay? He handsome. Anyway, so he walk in. I don't know where they at, but Sonny's sitting down. I guess it was raining outside. He walk in and they hug each other. Hey, wife. I'm like, child, you, y'all so fucking fake. First of all, no chemistry, but girl, that ain't none of my business because girl, she got her one girl and that's her. All right. Anyway, they sit down. He tell her, you know, I met up with Destiny. She tell me, so what is she wearing? What was she wearing? I said, Ooh. <laughs> bitch, I know a hater when I see one. <laughs> <laughs> bitch i know a hater when i see one i really do i know a hater when i see one let me tell you something this, ooh, i don't want to get on my soapbox but I, I i think i might step on mine okay hold on excuse me y'all let me get on my soapbox right quick like child let me tell you something okay you got to be very very careful who you let into your circle and who you tell your business to okay all them type of women who, you know, say they your friend and they want to be all in your business, but, you know, they low key insulting you or it feel like they in competition with you because you tell you share good news with them. And then the next thing, you know, they trying to be like, oh, girl, I did that, too. And, oh, yeah, I did. you know, they one in one up in you and all that other shit, girl, they ain't your friend, girl. And you feel it in your gut. You know, you know, when it don't feel right. 
Let me tell you something. The the minute you get an inclination that that girl is in competition with you or she don't or something don't feel right, cut it off. Cause girl, it'll be some bullshit like this. I'm telling you, <laughs> it'll be some bullshit like this. So she asking, and I mean in detail, what was she wearing? What, what kind of heels did she have on? Was it a dress? How was her hair? Was it to the side? Oh, so she was cute. So y'all look like y'all was on a date. I was like, oh, bitch. <laughs> and girl, that head of hers, girl, that hair was going. <laughs> and I don't want to talk. I'm not trying to talk. I don't like talking about people's looks. But girl, the more questions she was asking, the father of her hair started falling back. I was like, all I saw was forehead. I'm like, girl, where is your hair, girl? It was falling all the way back, just sliding back, okay? And nothing but forehead. The more questions she was asking, her head got bigger and bigger. I was like, God damn. <laughs> Again, I don't like talking about people. I don't like talking about people's looks or nothing like that, especially not no woman, but girl, sunny girl. <laughs> Girl, your head can't be like this, and you and you carrying on the way that you are, girl. You you just ain't gonna be able to, girl. You, you ain't gonna win, girl. There there's no way that you can win this. <laughs> I'm so ticked. I don't even know what to do, girl. You, <laughs> Goddamn. Ooh. Anyway. So he asking all this, and she, and he basically saying, you know, she said that, you know. I'm not healed and y'all backstabbed her. Here she go, how do we backstab her? I'm not her friend. We use that friend word too loosely. I was just doing my job and any confessional she talking about. I have enough friends. You know, I'm I'm pouring into you. You're not pouring into me. You know, I you don't even know my whole name. I said, well, she know your sister because your sister invited her to her birthday trip to Mexico. So that don't sound like y'all don't know each other for real. I said, she know your sister. Okay. She was like, she don't even know nothing about me. You know, my favorite color, jersey. she don't even know my birthday. She don't know nothing about me. Hmm. Okay, girl, whatever. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, if you say so. She was like, you know, and here she go. She was just a side chick while the main chick was away. Girl, bitch, who? <laughs> the way she thought that this was a flex, I was like, oh, girl, yeah. Oh, you thought because everybody wasn't on Destiny's side, you thought you was going to be able to slide in. And because a lot of people didn't like Destiny, not me, I like Destiny. But because the whole the crowd, the viewership of Love and Mary Chansville wasn't on Destiny's side and don't see it for her, you thought you could just hop on that bandwagon and the people was gonna roll with you. <laughs> okay, girl. Okay. <laughs> give it, give it about a good I girl, I give it to the now girl. Quiet, it's, it's happening now, girl. And the reason why I say that is because Moses told Sonny he didn't wear his wedding wedding ring. Tell me, oh, I ain't wear my wedding ring. I just want to let you know just so so bitches can't say, you know, oh, he wasn't wearing his ring. So the only reason why you even care about that is because you know it was on, it was being recorded. Had it not been recorded, you probably would have never told Sonny that because she didn't want it to be no backlash. But you didn't wear your ring on purpose. Nigga, when I, oh, back. He remind me of somebody else. Oh, my God, I can't wait to start telling story time, girl. Oh, my God. Anyway, anyway, whew. Well, I ain't gonna hold you though. Nigga fine as fuck though. <laughs> nigga fine as hell. But the nigga ain't shit, girl. He really ain't shit. Anyway, so she was like, oh yeah, well, make sure you wear your ring next time. And that's like what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna be I'm gonna have my ring in her face all the time. I said, girl, you you sir, you you was a bird if I ain't never seen one anyway so back, back to what I was saying because I've got sidetracked she was like oh you know she was a side chick you know you was just flying her out she was getting flewed out every other weekend sitting in hotels and then flown back back home I was like getting humped on I said girl you talking like your husband was was the one that wasn't doing the humping girl it was your husband that was doing the humping girl huh girl <laughs> <laughs> oh baby you got a little bit you got a little bit too much dip on your chip for me girl anyway so she was like yeah destin was the main ch or destin was the side chick you know and then i'm like okay so which one was it was she the side chick or was she the main chick because or the girlfriend because you at the end of the, the conversation she was like oh so you was, you was on a date with your ex-girlfriend i said so which which one is it was she a side chick and also if you knew that he had a main chick who was that girl because it couldn't have been you I, I don't understand and how did you if you didn't you waited until after their relationship cleared how did you know that he had all these other women girl what is going on i said oh y'all lying through y'all teeth the lies there you the go lies. This bitch. The i'm lies. telling you and y'all can't even get y'all story straight girl anyway i don't know 
but good luck good luck chuck okay good luck to you chuck that's all i have to say that is all i have to say anyway any yeah girl that's all i gotta say i'm trying to think of anything else and i know it comes off like i keep attacking sunny like she's the only one in this scenario that's the problem no moses is very much the problem as well he owes destiny much more of an explanation than sunny does because he's known her longer he's known her for 15 years and called himself a friend you're absolutely right so i know before you say oh well, why are you giving sunny all the business and everything here's the thing Moses ain't shit and we know he ain't shit and the way that Destiny wrapped his ass up at the beginning of this episode was perfection that's how you read okay you read honey okay she read him read honey not read <laughs> and I loved it okay but my problem with Sunny is that she wants to have an issue with Destiny you heard her after Moses said oh she just said that y'all stabbed me in the back and you know she says, oh, that's all she said? Oh, okay. Just want to make sure. Bitch, you want her to say you want her to say something bad about you so you can go off. You want an excuse so that you can try to make destiny your enemy when you know good and damn well that that's not the case. Because your conscience is lingering, boo. Your conscience is wear tap dancing on your ass because you know you dead ass wrong. And so now you're looking for any and every type of excuse so you can try to make her your enemy. Oh, she talking about me. Oh, she said this about me. Oh, she doing this. Oh, she doing that. Girl, no. Destiny has not said or done anything to you. You are the raggedy heifer. And Moses is raggedy as well. But we already expect this because you've told us, you've given us his resume we see that his this nigga is raggedy girl we didn't expect that from you again good luck girl you got him girl he yours girl you won <laughs> you won girl it gives you was always looking to see how you could one up destiny okay and now you feel like you've done the ultimate one up on her and she's always been your enemy and she's gonna be your enemy to justify the bullshit that you was doing behind her back that's what it gives to me but anyway, girl, if that's how you feel, girl, I see you half thinning, girl. <laughs> you half thinning and carrying on, sliding to the back, girl. You know what? That's what's going to happen when you stressed out. You you doing some foul mess, child. Good luck. But also, Destiny is not in a good look like either, child. She over there getting arrested. All, all y'all. <laughs> it's a whole mess. It's a whole mess. Anyway, what else is going on? I'm trying to get anything else I want to say about this, this situation, girl. I think that's it, girl. That's it. Anyway, y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Oh, yes. That was the uh, last part. My bad. My bad. My bad. Sunny. Talking about, yep. I know you love me. That's why you chose me out of all those women. <laughs> I got chose, y'all. He just stupid. You're not I'm smart. Not stupid. You're not smart. Oh. He chose me. He picked me, girl. He picked me, girl boom never mind that he was flying destiny out and he had all these other women and he was humping on her and humping on them and i knew about all the other women and he you he had you on a call log but girl he chose me out of all of y'all baby we how old is sunny probably got to be 40 gotta be good 41 42 saying some old elementary school high school bullshit girl he picked me girl i got the best puss Ooh, okay <laughs> that's why he didn't wear his wedding ring to go see destiny girl mm. <laughs> he conveniently forgot okay girl you know you know what you know what you got so moses can't go to the grocery store without sunny lurking around in the shadows because she know what the hell she got girl, baby the girl the man can't take a phone call because sunny know it, i'm telling you <laughs> <laughs> i want to see look at sunny looking now she looks stressed out whoa eye. the girl look wore out already you supposed to be a newlywed girl the girl look whoa <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to laugh I, how key i am laughing at that bitch girl listen he can't take a phone call the bitch the nigga can't even go to the bathroom she gonna be lurking she gonna have cameras everywhere baby when i tell you she gonna be stalking this nigga to make sure he she ain't he ain't cheating on her girl 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 you got you one <laughs> you got you one girl <laughs> baby when i tell you he gonna wear your ass out <laughs> i am so tickled this bitch gonna be whoa out. i can't wait to see her next year girl oh she probably gonna have patches girl i mean because they had already sliding back girl anyway 
<laughs> good luck to you love <laughs> good luck chuck okay anyway i'm done for real for real this time get down in the comments let me know what you think about the episode what you think about destiny and moses and sunny and how disingenuous this episode was it was so fake to me and boring anyway get down in the comments let me know what you think i'll see y'all later bye